Well, you go 21-3. and three. Division winner. Chances are pretty good you're going to win the Cy Young. Max Scherzer, the Tigers pitcher, joining us. How surprised were you, Max? Um, you know what? I was hoping to win it. I thought I was going to win it. But until your name actually gets called, uh, it, that's when all the excitement happens. So, uh, for me, once, I get, once that name got called, uh, I went nuts. You did? Wait, well, who's with you? And by going nuts, what's that mean? Champagne? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> I, I got a bunch of bottles of champagne last night, and uh, I definitely drank a lot of it. <laughs> did you have the goggles on that you, you wear usually during this, <laughs> the locker room celebration? <laughs> yeah, actually, I did. Uh, we didn't spray it on me, but I, they definitely had to get those goggles out. Uh, they're priceless, so uh, we definitely sprayed a couple bottles. Where do you keep the award? The award, that's going to go on my mail in the, my family room. Uh, you get something like this, uh, you got to look at that thing every day. So I'm, I'm going to build a nice little shelf and be able to look at that thing every day. Did you hear from any hitters yesterday on congratulations? Uh, from my team or other, Others, other hitters? Other teams. And any hitters say congrats? No, actually, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> There's probably a reason for that, Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there probably is. Uh, yeah, I had a good year. Toughest out in baseball is who? Say that again? Toughest out in baseball. Uh, for me, since, uh, since you too, uh, he absolutely owns me. So, uh, actually, last year he got traded to uh, Cincinnati. I said, I'm going to have a huge year. And sure <laughs> enough, he got traded away, and look what happened. <laughs> but when you, when you started this season, why, why was this different than other years for you, that you were this good? You know, I, I just kind of ironed out a few mechanics, was able to repeat it, and I had a curveball. Uh, I felt because lefties had always killed me. Uh, they always hit home run, you know, just a lot of power against me. And I, I was really just a two-pitch pitcher against them. And by adding a curveball allowed me to, uh, you know, incorporate a third pitch to them. And, and the cur- you know, a curveball only being 80 miles an hour allowed me to change the timing with them. So I was able to be, from the first at-bat to the third at-bat to the fourth at-bat, it allowed me to se- sequence them better so that I was different in each at-bat. More important, velocity or variety for a pitcher? Throw oh, variety. Uh, it doesn't matter how hard you throw. I've seen a 100 miles an hour get turned around in a heartbeat if they know it's coming. But if you're able to mix and, you know, mix and match with all your pitches, uh, I mean, that's, that's when pitching's at its finest. Last time you thought about uh, the ALCS Game 2. When you guys up five to one, uh, you know what? It that just happens. Uh, baseball is a funny game. Uh, you can sit there and say, you know, we we had it in the bag, but that's a good team. Uh, they fought and clawed their way all the way back and put themselves in position. And when you face a guy like David Ortiz, he can burn you, and it doesn't matter who's on the mound. Uh, you can throw a pitcher's pitch, and he can hit it out. And um, you know, he was able to capitalize on uh, one of Ben Watt's pitches. I, I remember when I first saw you in the minor leagues and I was talking to Tom Verducci and you mowed down. I, I, you may have had like 10 strikeouts in a row. It was something phenomenal. But everybody at that point, people knew you had a great arm, but they also said, oh, yeah, and he's got that condition. One brown eye, one blue eye. <laughs> like you were more you were known more for one. What is that? Um, heterochromia. Is that what yeah. it is? Yeah, it's heterochromia. I think that's like what the doctor will say. Uh, everybody wants to ask what's on your driver's license because that's a more million dollar question. So, uh, what is? <laughs> it, says, it says Dicro. So uh, it, when you go into a driver in a DMV, uh, your eye color has to be a three letter abbreviation. So uh, they couldn't put like BLBR or anything like that. So um, it's uh, DIC. And that stands for? Dicro. <laughs> <laughs> bet, you, bet you never knew that. No, I, d- I did not. How many people have that condition? Oh, man, I think it's, it's something like a one in 50,000 50, to have like some type of discoloration, but I, I feel like it's got to be way higher than that to get it completely blue and brown. So uh, you don't see too many people that look like me walking around the streets. And how many have one brown eye, one blue eye, and one Cy Young? <laughs> I think that's one. <laughs> well, congrats. That's a good thing to have. Yeah, and uh, it's got it's going to be different without yep. Leland in there next year, and the expectation levels. As Ver, can Verlander help you with that to say, dude, you have no idea how they're going to be coming after you now? Oh, well, I mean, I know there's a guitar on my back, but um, you know, for me, I'm taking the approach. Uh, you don't stay the same in, in sports. You either get better or you get worse, and it's a choice. So I'm going to do everything I can to get better. And, I, you know, if I take that approach and stay hungry, 
uh, I think I can uh, still pitch uh, very well in 2014. Well, congrats. Uh, great story, and uh, <laughs> good luck next season. All right. Thanks for having me on the show. All right. That's Max Scherzer, DIC. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.